Welcome. In this quick vid, we'll demonstrate a typical workflow for Caseware Analytics AI. Analytics AI is a risk-based transaction analysis tool that auditors can use to scan large transaction sets and find exceptions that might warrant further investigation. We'll start by uploading a trial balance. On the Documents page, select Import Trial Balance and Online Transactions. We have a CSV file, so we'll select Import from Excel or CSV, and navigate to our file to upload it. Once the upload completes, we'll need to map each column to the fields in Analytics AI. In this example, we'll map the first column to account name, the second column to account number, and so forth. Next, we'll need to upload transactional data to run a risk analysis. On the Documents page, select Import Transactions CSV and navigate to the transactions file. In our file, we have comma-separated transactions, so in the Configure Input dialog, we'll choose comma for the delimiter. Next, each of the columns in your transactions file need to be mapped to their appropriate fields in Analytics AI. You can use the dropdowns provided to select the columns that were pulled from the transactions file. A search box with type ahead is also available. Take note, each available column must be mapped correctly in order to get the best results. You may run into data completeness errors if there is missing data or a column was mapped incorrectly. Once you've mapped your file, select the import button. Select Data Completeness on the Documents page to show the report. Notice how the report shows an out-of-balance issue. You can select Out of Balance to go to the trial balance. Notice there's an issue with assigned accounts. Select it to investigate the issue. Here you'll notice that Payroll Liabilities account is unassigned. Click on Payroll Liabilities to select the account, and then select the account to map it to. Influencers are accounts that you want to emphasize as part of your risk analysis. For example, a mature company may be motivated to reduce reported revenue in order to pay less tax, so an auditor may want to increase the influence percentage on a higher risk account such as sales. You can also add an accompanying note. Now we'll open the analytical review document to see a brief snapshot of the engagement's data. You can use the switches to show different widgets. To see the audit test results, select Risk Analysis. The results page gives you an overview of the engagement's transactions using different widgets. The Risk Summary widget ranks the transactions in terms of overall risk. The High Risk Exceptions widget shows the top four tests that contributed the highest dollar value to risky transactions. The High Risk Users widget shows the top five users that posted on risky transactions. And the High Risk Journals widget shows the top five journals with the riskiest transactions. You can also configure these tests from the Configurations page. Change the emphasis for an audit test as desired, for example, on duplicate entries. Then select Save and rerun the tests. Finally, you can export the analysis data for audit evidence. Select the export icon, choose the file format and download the file. Thanks for watching.